Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Um, in the last episode, we looked at the cordelette anchor and now I'm gonna show you the sliding X anchor or the magic X anchor. So same material again, seven millimeter nylon accessory cord. This one's a bit shorter because we've only got um, two pieces of gear to work with. And as always, it's joined together with a double fisherman's knot. So what we're gonna do is clip our sling into our pieces here. We've got quick draws simulating this, but it can be anything. Usually uh, the Magic X anchor, because it only really can be built using, using two arms, um, it's usually built for sport climbs, you know, places where you've got bomber material, so you've got um, bolts in place. So once you've dragged down, making sure that the double fisherman's knot is not pressing on your carabiner here, what you'll want to do is in one arm or one little loop, you want to make a twist like that. So it makes an X, that's why it's called a sliding X anchor. And then you clip in a carabiner, which should be locking and voila. So that is your sliding X or magic X anchor, sometimes called a cross sling anchor. And that is basically it. So if you're top roping, um, what you would do is you would put your rope through, or if you want to use a second locking carabiner, you can do, but, and that's it. Now, the reason that the sliding X or Magic X anchor is so popular is that it safeguards against um, your, your change of direction. So if the climber decides to traverse off, they're top roping and they go off to the right, then the anchor will move with that climber and the arms will always stay under equal tension. So if you remember with the cordelette anchor, if it's fixed with a knot here, like an overhand knot or a figure eight on a bite, and the climber changes direction, suddenly you lose, you lose one arm. And if the climber falls, it goes straight back and that arm gets shock loaded. So that never happens with the sliding X anchor and that's why it's called a dynamic equalization anchor. Now there is one problem here. If one arm fails, then it could lead to catastrophic failure. So let's say for example that this arm here fails, maybe the nut blows or the bolt blows, whatever. So now that's our, that arm is gone and you have extension. So what happens is the quick draw, uh, excuse me, the lock and carabiner will fall down, bang, and then you're left with one arm. But the problem is that when that, when that extension occurred, when the first arm failed, you got that extension and it, and it blew, this arm was subjected to a shock load. So all that weight and extension kind of dropped on this one arm which is unacceptable because when you get a shock load that increases the amount of force that the arm sustains. So it, it's, it's a difficult situation and it's why the Magic X Anchor, while still popular, isn't quite as widely used as it once was. Now there's a simple solution to this and that is to tie limiting knots. So this is kind of Magic X Anchor number two, I suppose you could say. So what I'll do is I'll tie a knot right here. I'll tie an overhand knot. And you'll see the purpose of this. So let's just tie a quick knot here. And this will shorten the anchor obviously, but it'll demonstrate the purpose. So let's clip that back in. And we'll tie a knot here. So, and we'll clip that back in. There we go. So now the, uh, the sling is obviously shortened. You might want to use a, lo a longer sling for this. But the point is, is that you still now have that dynamic equalization. Actually, let's just make sure that, that little twist is in there properly. All right, so you still have that equalization, but you have these limiting knots so that if this arm fails like before, so that arm is gone, we've got one arm left, the extension is, is drastically limited. So this arm, instead of receiving a shock load, which is a massive risk if you've only got one arm left for the anchor, instead it will hopefully remain intact. Now this being said, I mean, given that the Magic X anchor really should only be used for sport climbing and in a, in a sort of bolted situation, it's not too much of a risk. But if you are gonna do it, I would strongly advise that you tie these little knots here um, it doesn't take very long and, and it just makes the whole system a lot safer. So there we go. There's the sliding X anchor system. In the next video, we're going to talk about the Webelet.